Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. Uh, it's Sunday morning here. I'm a little bit sleepy. And let's let's have a go back at the wizard and the princess and see where we can get. I have to confess, uh, I didn't follow up on my promise from the last stream to uh, play some of the game off stream in Looking Under Rocks. So that's what we're going to continue to do today. Um, I feel like that's kind of a quite a chill Sunday morning activity. So I'm, I'm okay with that. I hope you are too. And uh, you know, if anybody wants to pop into the chat and say hello, um, we can have a chat as well while we're combing around this desert looking for rocks. Looking under rocks. Oh, that made that very big. Okay. I think I can do something here. Excuse the bigness of my map all of a sudden. So if you haven't seen our previous stream, we are playing Wizard and the Princess. Sierra's second ever uh, video game, second ever adventure game. Um, and it's also probably the second ever uh, graphical adventure game, the one with the graphical component. So, hang on, that's not going to zoom out, is it? Let's zoom, zoom out. So, uh, we didn't really get anywhere. We're in a village in the desert. We've got to try and rescue a princess from a wizard. Uh, you may, you may have guessed. I mean, it could have been a a flip situation. We could be rescuing a wizard from a princess, but that's not the case. Um, this is when is this? The early eighties. 1980? I think it's 1980. Uh, so yeah, we're very much rescuing a princess from a wizard. And our first obstacle is we need to go north, apparently, because everywhere else is getting lost in the desert. Uh, but there's this giant snake here. We're, we're not sure exactly how big it is. It could be as big as a fridge. It could be as big as a house. It could be as big as, say, a wicker basket. Who knows? Uh, but I can't defeat it with any of the things in my inventory. Uh, I can't water it, I can't knife it, I can't bread it, and I can't blanket it. Should I try blanketing it? Let's try it. Throw blanket. No way. Yeah, I didn't like that. It seems to be, the, the parser seems to be a bit sassier than it was in the previous adventure game. Mystery house. Uh, seems to be swearing a lot more no ways our, our way. Alright, so what I also have is I have the, as you can probably see on the screen, I've got the chat window open. So I've got a lovely record of what's happening there. And also uh, I've got a second place to keep an eye on it. And I've also got a magical scroll of mapping which uh, draws. <laughs> draws itself uh, as we progress through our adventure. Um, let me show you more of that to explain what I'm doing here. What am I doing here? Right, here we go. So you will notice that previously we have mapped out quite a lot of space on this map. I'm not sure how much of this desert loops. I, didn't, I couldn't find a consistent pattern to it, but we've ventured a long way west of the village, sort of south and west of the village, and a long way east of the snake. So I'm going to try west of the snake um, and keep mapping out what we find as we go there. Yeah, we'll just have a we'll just have a gay old time. Because there are rocks, there are plentiful rocks in this desert, I'll have you know, but there are also plentiful scorpions which uh, kill us instantaneously with oh, that was what I wanted to do. kill us instantaneously with a single sting. Uh, and they tend to lurk behind the rocks, which is uh, dangerous and inconvenient. So I've got I've got I've got a couple of backup plans. If this uh, 
if this starts to grind our gears, I have uh, a way to solve this puzzle. Uh, because in the manual, we are given the solution to this puzzle. So it doesn't, it doesn't really bode well for the, um, the creator's own confidence in their design that the uh, the initial puzzle uh, comes with this the solution in the manual. I mean, yeah, I mean, for the time, I suppose that's not not necessarily unusual, but given how how random the uh, the task is, how it's laid out, uh, it doesn't, doesn't go particularly well. So we can go straight to the solution if we need to. And I've got a backup game. I've got I'd quite like to play. Um, I don't know how long this stream will go as it's kind of a an impromptu thing. But I've got Xdas queued up as well, so we can play some more Xdas. Um, it'd be really nice to see the end of that game if we can. Um, right, so I'm going west. I do wish it was easy for me to tell east from west. I'm alright with left and right, but east and west, I have to visualise a compass first. Okay, so this is a no rock, no rock area. Okay. So, holy moly, I just made my just made my scroll enormous, and that will probably have shown up on screen. Apologies for that. Accidental double click there. All right, so yeah, the uh, you'll see now that the map will magically fill itself out with a not particularly fine rendition of this area and any appropriate notes it may uh, the detail the level of detail may decrease as um as the adventure continues I call that scroll fatigue right so there was nothing of note there essentially. So we'll continue to go in um, where no westerly, <laughs> westerly direction. Oh, interesting, another. So what I can do actually is if I, I think there will be a limit to how far we can go in this direction. I will try to reach that limit. And what I can do is then compare the pattern on the east and west surface. Uh, let me get that more in frame for you, gentle viewer. And uh, yeah, I'm going to compare east and west sides, see if there's any kind of pattern because it might loop around ultimately. I think there's there's a bit of like geographical uh, manipulation going on in that you kind of end up back at the village ultimately. Uh, depending on many different ways that you can go, so it's, it's, it's hard to work out a consistent uh, scheme to this thing. Right, so we're going to have to go west again to look for anything. So yeah, on the uh, I think the stream's doing kind of alright. If you're following along at home and ooh, and there is anything uh, amiss then do let me know if the sound levels are not okay if we're having some particular graphical issues because my internet is not that good then do let me know I'll do what I can oh 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 oh, oh dear you know what the thing about these scrolls is sometimes They get a little screwy. So I'm not sure how that scroll's looking, but hopefully it's it's acceptable. Um, I uh, I did my two, didn't I? Two screens of nothing. We need to go further west. Whoa, so that's the end. That's the hard stop. Oh, that's really interesting. How strange. So you can only go two spaces west, and it's a hard stop. Mmm, curiouser and curiouser. 
Alright, so this might be hard to show off, maybe. Or it might not be. Um, and so I'm going to go back through this row because it's on, it's visible on scroll now. So we've got two blanks, and then we've got the snake. You see that? Yeah. And so the other direction, there was a rock with a scorpion, a blank, 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 a blank, and then the village when you go east. So that's really interesting. So we just had two, haven't we? So I wonder if I go east here, do I end up in the village? No, I don't. The blank one again. And if I go east... Oh, so that's... Oh. So that's not getting me back to... where the snake is, is it? I wonder if there's an element of randomization here that I'm just not going to be able to predict. Because this wasn't here before, was it? So I think, ultimately, if you keep going east, you're likely to get back to the village. I don't think we're under any kind of time. I don't think oh, we're going to dehydrate or anything. Uh, so that's another scorpion rock. So this is really weird, isn't it? So I'm going to... Uh, I think you have to, say, look room to get out of this screen. Which just make a lot of sense in context, but uh, follows on from the last game, so that's how I've learned that skill. Um, so can I go north? Can't go in that direction. Weird. Let's just keep going east. See what happens. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that's just weird, isn't it? So that didn't match with well, the path we'd taken previously, which was uh, these two beside the snaky, and it doesn't match with. Uh, what happened at the end of that trail, did it? Because there was no scorpion with a rock before we went east of the village. Um, uh, tray confusing. So, I think it's... Actually, it's kind of like this row here, which was to the south of the village. Uh, let me see if I can show you that. So, to the south of the village, there was a row that was only three screens wide. It was uh, blank, blank screen, blank screen, rock screen and then you go east and go to the village. So that's kind of what where we'd end up there. So maybe, so that seemed to be, I wonder if there's a bit of a path when you're in that segment. I wonder if we can go south, oh that's definitely the wrong screen, south to that one, because then we should be able to go I'll check the rock, but that should have a scorpion behind it. Yeah. So, yeah, so going north seemed to just be endless desert. So let's go for this path south, which seems to be a bit more specific. So we can go south again, can't we? So this one had a rock with a scorpion in it, under it, behind it. Mm hmm there it is. So, let's um, come out of this screen. Let's cue the old, where are we yet? So, let me scroll to the right place. So that's where we are. And then, let me see, um, I'm going to need another rectangle, oh we gone, we weren't, we weren't large again, okay that's, that's fine, um, I need that don't I actually, okay, hold on, got a plan, got a plan, this may look strange for a second, just doing some scroll maintenance. Pay no, pay no heed to the scroll behind the curtain. Whoa, I don't know why that one gets big. Why does that one get big? I don't want to get big. You know what, let's have one of those. Let's 
is kind of an unwieldy map, isn't it, at this point? But... Right, so we're attempting to go down there. Great, so let me call this. Come on, come on. Let's go. Oh, okay, yep. Just trying to get the layers sorted out. I will be quite glad when we get past this first puzzle. I'll be honest. This might be the longest I've ever been stuck on the first puzzle in an adventure game. Uh, which is an, in, is an interesting uh, thing to think about in terms of worse how how thoughtful the design of this game may be um, because I've I've played some some wimpy adventure games in my time I would consider. Right, so we're going to try and go south. This is where it tells us we can't go south. We can go south. So I might just keep going south. That might help. So this is a featureless, so-called featureless desert. Actually, got features. Just they're the same as every other bit of desert. Okay, we'll just go. We'll go south again. Oh, okay, can't go in that direction. That's interesting, isn't it? So could I go east? I can try it, can't I? I'll I'll prep another. Map square. Pop it east. And we'll just see if we can. You can. Interesting. Um, but likewise, that has nothing in it. Okay. Noted. Oh dear. Oh dear. Did tell you the accuracy might go down. Well, anyway, while I'm uh, helping the scroll to draw, uh, how is everyone today? On um, uh, yeah, where wherever you are, whatever time it is. Uh, for me, I'm kind of in a a gentle haze. Um, please, please to be thinking about and oh no, you don't do that screen. Uh, please, please be thinking about an abstract puzzle. Uh, that's quite quite a nice thing to be doing. Reasonably content. Right. Let's get back on screen. So I think what we want to do is go east again, don't we? Okay. So You know what, I'm just going to check my extreme information. Did I actually put in that I was playing the... Where's my stream info? There it is. Did I put in that I was playing this particular game? I did, fantastic. Okay, so people can tell. You can tell. Thanks. That's a relief. I mean, it could be just chatting, couldn't it? But I guess that's a little bit of a feel. I mean, when, when you're just doing a mechanical action over and over. Did I, hang on, did I already go east? Or am I just drawing this because I've lost track of where I, where I went to? Let's see. Go well, south, south. East. Ah, so I would need to go east again. Okay. Thank you, thing. Rock. Okay. There could be a rock here. I mean, don't, sorry, there is a rock here. It could be a rock that we might be able to take without getting 
poisoned. That's what I mean. Uh, fast and loose. This. You will quickly find that this scroll plays fast and loose. Right. So what are the odds then? What do you think the odds are? But there's a scorpion behind this rock. Yep, you were you were right. So let's switch to a different colour, right? Scorpio. Oh dear. So oh, excuse me. I'm going to type in the wrong window. Look, 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 look. Okay. This, 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 this. Have another one. Have another jolly old map there. I have a feeling we might be back on the. What's the word? The conveyor belt of the uh, confusing desert. Oh no, and then you go back to the village. Okay, so that wasn't right, was it? So, I mean, that actually kind of looks like it's a repeating pattern, doesn't it? Interesting. So the middle one could go south in that repeating pattern. And then we could go south again. That's interesting. So we... Oh, we might just get stuck, mightn't we? If it repeats and repeats infinitely, but then oh, with games of this caliber, it's hard to tell whether something will repeat infinitely or whether it will repeat a certain number of times and then give a different result. So you can't really you can't rule out madness. Is what I'm saying. Either mine or the game designers. Oh, why am I drawing? I don't want to draw a picture. It's just just force a habit at this point, drawing that cactus. I need to write village there. So, I feel like we we could be making, yeah, so we could be making pro progress, or we could uh, be going down a complete blind alley. And there's no... <laughs> There's not really anything to differentiate the two, other than one might have a result at the end of it. So I'm going down west. And then south. Excuse me. South. I might just come up with a notation for can't go any further in a particular action, might I? Um, so what if I go west here, so this one, and then south, you can't do that, that's really interesting, okay, well, let me go back east, so maybe I can note that down, uh, where are we, we're there, aren't we, yeah, uh, and we've got Sure, let's use the orangey colour because that's uh, more more like a warning, isn't it? If I put a oh, sorry, I had the orange one. Never mind. Uh, let's put a cross there, so that indicates you can't go that way. That seems a good uh, thing to do for now. Right, going south, and then so I don't think I'd be able to go south from here. Can I go south from here? Can't. Okay. So that's another cross that I can put on there. Yeah, this cross was a good idea. I should have been doing this before. Um, so I can go east. Can I go south from there? Does that follow the same pattern as the previous iterations? I can. That's interesting. Okay. So this is either a cul-de-sac or progress. I love it. I love it when uh, the two are indistinguishable. Right, so we've gone south. Oh, hello. 
Uh, I think I'll go back to believe this, thanks. Uh, can you see that on screen? Not quite, let me pop it on there for you. Right, so this is one with the rock, so... I mean... There's, there's no hope in my heart, but I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look under this rock. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering whether I should put a hard limit on how long we uh, continue to uh, stumble around in the desert before we we sneak a peek in that that manual. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, I automatically wrote Scorpion on there without looking. Uh, it's funny what the brain does. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Um, so, I mean, that's the first time we've gone down, down into one that has a Scorpion in, in this kind of... So I'd kind of be tempted to keep going east. Think. At this point, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe. Uh, well, I'll I'll rewrite Scorpion there, so we know. What if I go? East. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Great, that's already on screen. So I don't have to worry about that. Um, get the right colour. So this is east and this is a that was south. This is a nothing a nothingness. Okay, uh, then east again, I think. Let's see what we find. Rock. Okay, there's a rock here. So this is a this is a different uh, pattern to the the repeating pattern that we've seen before, I think. But where this goes, if anywhere, I don't know. All right, look, rock, scorpion. I'll see the word scorpion, the word scorpion appears almost immediately. Disappointment is once again mine. Right. Scorp. Okay, well, let's try East again. I think the worst happens is we go back to the village. Yeah. Okay, well, that's interesting. So we seem to only go south in the middle ones? Kind of. So we did go south from a scorpion there, didn't we? Interesting. Um, yeah, I think I think I'm going to call it and have a look at the the manual because we've been bumbling around for another half an hour, here, haven't we? Which is uh, not great. Oh no, I've just realised my internet's gone, so nobody can see the stream. Oh well, uh, at least I'm recording. Okay, for recording's sake, we carry on. I'll take this opportunity to open the manual up. Uh, let's go to be right back screen. I'll mute my audio. I'll be back in a moment. Hopefully, we'll be live again in a moment as well. Hello, welcome back. Apologies that we dropped out there for a moment. Um, my internet is is being quite rubbish at the moment. 
and um, we lost connection entirely, which is it's not great. So I hope you can see and hear me clearly. And what we will do is, uh, you may not have seen, but we came back to the village again on our most recent attempt um, to locate the right the right path. I've got the manual open. I'm I'm gonna have a look and see what it says about this this situation. Okay, so hints. Uh, here we go. I'm reading. Hint to get past the rattlesnake in the Wizard of the Princess. Read only if absolutely necessary. I feel I feel it kind of is. You will have to go south of town into the desert and find a rock without a scorpion under it. There are six rocks, but only one is safe to pick up. I feel like I found found many more than six rocks. Starting in town, go south, 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 west, south. Okay. South, three souths, west and a south. Our map. Three souths. So I've only got one south. Interesting. So that was a road untaken, wasn't it? So, so is that aligned? Is that aligned with the map that's actually on here? Interesting. It could be under there. So that's that one. So let's go south again. Let's see if it matches up. That'd be curious, wouldn't it? Well, I'm curious to find out. I don't know if it would actually be curious itself. So, so in theory, we've gone south again, which I don't know why I didn't think of doing before. I guess I assumed I, it wouldn't do anything. Great. Oh, I'm doing this at a very tiny scale, so the drawing is going to be absolutely crazy. And just about functional. Let me make it a bit bigger so that you can see too. That's the audience connection doing. It's holding, holding fast for now. Great. I'll, um, you know, I hope to at least stream to get to the conclusion of the the rattlesnake saga. That would be lovely. So we did we did that and then we're supposed to go south again. So that should be one with nothing in it. Yeah that makes sense. So we went one, two, three. Is that hang on, is that right? So we're at the village we went south South, south, west, and south. Hang on, let me check what I've been doing. In the village, one, two, three. Yeah, so we've done we've done all this so far. One, two, three. So I should be, and it looks like the one that we've already seen. If I go west, there's one with a scorpion, with a, a rock with a scorpion. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. And then, so west. And then south, but there isn't, there isn't a rock there. I don't think there is a rock there. Well, that's. I have no idea how you would find this. How would you find this path? Because that doesn't align with the map that we were making, because our map would take us south one, south two, south three. Oh, hang on, I was looking in the wrong place, wasn't I? I was looking east but I need to be looking west west one and then it said that we could not go south from there so s actually something's a bit screwy here isn't it 
Alright, let's look at this rock. Ooh, in my excitement I missed that rock. How on earth would you... You'd be looking around for hours desperately trying to find that rock as the one solution to your puzzle. That's bonkers. Um, I'm going to keep going east. So there is, in the hints, there is a solution to getting back to the snake. But oh, we can't go east. No. Can't go that direction. West. Interesting. I don't quite understand how the geography of this desert works. I'll be honest, it's a bit beyond me. I think hopefully we're in a row where we can just keep going east. You know what, I, I sincerely hope the rest of the game gets a bit easier than this because we we stood a good chance with Mystery House. That made it made a kind of sense. But this, you know what, I'm going to save the game because getting that rock was actually major progress. I think that saved. Let's hope that saved. Um, right. Right, so now all we need to do is beat to death a snake with a rock. That's, we can manage that surely, can't we? Um, kill snake, so now we know the, the secret, the riddle formula, so we kill snake with what and we say with rock and then let's see what happens. It's a dead snake. You hit the snake on the head with a rock and kill it. <gasps> Whoa, look at that graphic at the it just looks it looks very peaceful, which is good. Can I get the rock back? Can I get the snake? Do I need the snake? Can I squeeze a little venom into a leather pouch or something? Uh, why would you want to? I guess that's a good point. So we go north? Hot thirsty. I think you had better drink some water. Okay. All right. So I don't think time advances when we don't end the command. So conveniently. Uh, so I'm gonna scoop up all these notes and whatnot and pop them in a their own little thing and then get them to disappear. So I don't have to think about the villagers or anywhere for a little while. Um, there we go. So what happens in this part of the desert, I, I don't know. I'm hoping not a lot. Great, so let's... You might see some, uh, some minor graphical confusion on on the map there but we're we're pulling it back we're pulling it back we're zooming in it's like that bit in Blade Runner you know the bit Uh, apologies if you can hear the, the church bells in the distance. Adds a bit of atmosphere, but uh, let's assume it's a, a distant desert church. Right. Okay, so this is, yeah, this is our new thing. I need a new drawing layer. Can I quick check on the. Uh, yeah, I think the stream's doing okay. Yeah, let's do it again. Right. Uh, 
So, it's got a sort of a drum shaped rock here. Otherwise, the same. So, you know what? We do have some water. Should we drink the water? Is it a trick? Is it a trick to drink the water? It shouldn't be. It really shouldn't be, should it? I guess we might need to consider our moves carefully. Let's look at the rock that's here. You see nothing special. There's a rattlesnake here. You had better watch out. Another one? What the heck is going on in this game? So... Am I just doing the same action again? Am I killing snake with what? Oh, excuse me. With rock. Snake is too quick for the rock and dodges out of the way. Wow. Uh, uh, Throw blanket. Can't go on. Oh, okay, game over. That's interesting. So I've got thirst and a rattlesnake. Interesting. Well, let's see if I the save game worked. Uh, let under which I save the game, so we could have quite a few save slots. So I think that would have worked. Let's have a look at our inventory. See if we've got a rock, a large rock. We have. Brilliant. Okay, that works perfectly. Um, Oh, sorry, I need to come out of there and then go north. That's how that works. So what are we going to do about this? This is just the, the eternal rattlesnake dilemma, isn't it? Feels quite um, philosophical. Um, I don't think it's intentional. It feels like some kind of... Uh, philosophical uh, parable. So north, north is the way we're supposed to go, for sure. We're thirsty. You know what, I'm going to have some tea while, while we're thirsty. I type in drink water. Much better, now your flask is empty. Interesting. Um, so just... Does the rattlesnake only turn up if you look at the rock? Maybe. Oh. I'm not sure how to interpret this screen. There's a rattlesnake here, you'd better watch out. So, kill snake. Excuse me, enter. With rock. Okay. Oh. Get rock. Okay, did I get the rock? What's happening? I, I know there's a rattlesnake. Hello? If I lost control, I appear to have lost control of the game. Well, that's interesting. Okay, while well, that's thinking about whatever it's doing, I'm going to add an extra bit of this map. So, I'm a bit confused about what's going on in this game, I'll be honest. It's not, not giving me a great adventuring hook. I'd say the Mystery House had a pretty solid way of introducing itself in a very limited and basic way. He certainly uh, had quite, he had a fair amount of information, and he also had quite a lot of convention to fall back on, and this it's not, really, it's not really starting out like an adventure, I would say. It's kind of... Kind of just a series of survival obstructions. It's a bit weird. So this blue worm is the... So I seem to have lost pass of control, which is 
interesting. So I don't, I don't know what that means for the game. Maybe I need to restart it, which would be a bit of a shame. I will restart it. I'll just mute that and we'll, we'll restart the game. So I will restore the game. Uh, slot A. So we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to once again clobber a snake. With rock. Sleepy snake. Get rock. Go north, because that's the thing that makes sense. I'm gonna drink water. A bit worried that we haven't we drank it all and we have nothing left. Let's try going a different direction this time. Let's try going seem to be an impasse wherever there's a snake so we'll try going east this time okay this is a oh okay oh okay this is different looking i wonder if there's a graphical error and um, some of the orange hasn't appeared but that looks a bit weird doesn't it there's a stick there's i assume that's another cactus that's a different shape to ones we've seen before Interesting. Uh, so this was east, and then we've got. And is that is the what is the white? Is the white supposed to mean anything, or is that just a a graphical element? So I'm kind of a bit worried to look at things because rattlesnakes tend to appear when you look at things. Um, I guess that's life in the desert. So we've got a twig here. So look. Stick. Something special. Get stick. A tick. Get stick. Got a stick. Okay. That didn't cause any trouble. Okay. Look, cactus. Do you think cactus lion? All right. I think that's everything. I can't test the the white pillar in the background. Is supposed to be a cactus or? anything else really. Can I go east? Are we in a more conventional map? I think we might be. Well that's pretty handy isn't it? Um, to what I'm going to do while I'm on this square of the map. It's just going to have a stick written there so we don't remember that that's what we get there should we need to return to this. And then we get another map square we'll try and go north from here and see what happens because this hopefully is a much smaller and more contained area and we can actually work out what on earth we're supposed to do it might be here that tells us we can't go north i don't know whoa so it looks like gray i mean look you're in the desert why is it all obscured and featureless that's really weird isn't it can i go north again it felt like north is kind of the dominant so i can't go north all right so i want to put some crosses on things haven't i uh so that i can keep up with that area of exploration as well so i can't go there and i can't go there may i go east I can't go east. Okay, so this looks like it's actually a pretty small map. Is it a mountain? Could it be generously called a mountain? I see nothing special. Can I go mountain? Maybe you can go a place you can see. Which direction? Hmm. 
So I think the only direction I could go is back uh, west. That's what I'm thinking. Whoa, there's a locket here. Oh, I think the graphics are glitching. Because that doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? It doesn't match up with where we went before. Um, I'm going to get a locket. Ah. So have we, have we got that locket now? A large rock. An empty flask, a stick, a pocket knife, a lift braid, a blanket. There's a locket here in the desert. Can I get the locket? Now it's appeared. Ooh, this is all a bit weird, isn't it? This doesn't appear to be behaving itself. Ooh, I don't, I don't know what's happening in this game. It's gone a bit weird. Can I go south? Okay, it seems to have bugged. Seems to be a bit bugged. Oh, this is not great, is it? I think we're going to have to call it a day for the wizard and the princess because I need to work out what's going on with this game. It's not performing to expectations. Which is a shame. So I will. Yeah, so we kind of. Yeah, I don't know what area are we in? So. Go north. Doesn't seem to be responding to commands or anything really. No, it's completely. It's completely. Uh, completely bugged, isn't it? What a shame. Okay, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the Be Right Back screen. Oh, I'm going to take a short break and we'll be back and we'll play a little more Extas.